You know, God made a decision about that, uh, that globe floating around up in your skull, that uh, mass of flesh and fat with all its many, many folds. He decided to give us a very complex organ that's capable of learning and expanding and, in fact, learning how to learn. It's capable of looking at the world and observing patterns and from those patterns drawing conclusions. It happens when we're little kids. And it can also be something that we choose to allow to shrink, to become decrepit. It is whatever we pour into it. It is whatever is poured into it. I mean, the mass, the biology doesn't change. It's largely fat, it's tissue, it's... But the manifestations, the thoughts, we can program. So evil can program us. And when we're stupid, it's easier for evil to do this. And sometimes stupid is a choice. One of the ways to make stupid a choice is to farm out your skepticism. Let other people maintain skepticism for you. Let me put this into a perspective that we can all share. Driving. I don't drive behind panel trucks. If I'm on a freeway or a one-lane road that's, say, 45, 50 miles an hour, I stay way back from panel trucks because I can't see in front of me. I don't trust them. There's nothing inherently wrong with people who drive panel trucks. They're probably better drivers than I am. And yet, from my history in racing cars, from the time I was seven years old until I was 19, I know not to trust a driver in front of me because I'm farming out my skepticism. So I stay way back. And the moment I get an opportunity, I speed up and I pass the panel truck because I want to be able to see in front of me so I'm not farming out my safety or the safety of the people riding with me to someone else. Likewise, if you go shooting with someone and they hand you your we- their weapon so you can try it, what do you do? Do you check it clear or do you go, oh, they're, they're safe? They said there's not one in the chamber. I went shooting with some friends of mine, including a former SWAT leader, um, police captain, a great shooter, Navy SEAL, a guy who's a special forces cat. And every time they handed a weapon to one another, they checked it clear or not clear. They weren't going to farm out their safety even to a brother SEAL or brother cop. So when we farm out our skepticism to other human beings, we're making a decision to become them. Their interests aren't always our interests, and their level of skepticism or acuity isn't always ours, and they, generally speaking, always have their interests at heart rather than ours. This is one of the dangers with people who farm out their skepticism to government, and evil needs that. Because people who want to be bosses of other human beings are violating the Word of God. Do not lord your power over others. So people who seek to be bosses, I didn't say leaders, I didn't say shepherds, I didn't say elders or mentors, I said bosses. Violate one of the key tenets that God cautions us against. Do not lord your power over others. The Lord Jesus, for even the Lord Jesus came, even the Son of Man came to serve, not be served. So when you're jobbing out your skepticism to another human being, they might not have your best interest at heart. They might be drinking and driving as a panel truck. I might be, might be. They might not have checked their weapon clear, but they thought they did. And in the case of someone who seeks to be a boss, they're easily manipulated by evil because evil wants to control in order to depress, distract, or destroy. That's Satan's plan. So they need people like Joe Biden who said something about FEMA that should cause alarms, particularly for people who maintain our own skepticism, who haven't jobbed it out to others. I'll show you what Biden said here in a second. You should be skeptical about things I say in the program in relation to fitness. I mean, I can tell you my story. I can relate to you the fact and I can show you the pictures, though no one wants to see them. A very (laughs) select group of people have seen them that I used to weigh almost 400 pounds. That's a fact. There's some people who remember me from that time and they always say, really, 400 pounds? Yeah, I had a big bunch of muscle on me, but I was a huge glob of fat too. So you can be skeptical and say, okay, so you did it your way. I don't want to do it your way. Fair enough. Not everybody wants to go out and hammer away at CrossFit for you know 10 years to get to a level of fitness they can maintain. 
But you can also apply skepticism to the companies with their work, which with their work. For instance, buy optimizers. Do this. Go to bioptimizers.com slash Todd, read the material on the products, read about masszymes, and then see this. When you purchase from them, they don't stop with, hey, there's your product, good luck. They send you how-to videos for pills? Yes, because when you take masszymes matters. How you stack that with other products like a prebiotic or a probiotic matters. Their goal is to teach you to be healthy like they are. They're teachers at heart. Masszymes help you get more nutrition for every chew because it provides, provides more amino acids in your body. This has been proven in a study. So go to bioptimizers.com slash Todd. You get 10% off all their products there, including Masszymes. You'll get fantastic follow-up, including videos and books on how to most properly use this to really help you understand why you're taking it and when you should take it. Masszymes, great product, bioptimizers.com slash Todd. Get 10% off all their products. This is Joe Biden. People farm their skepticism out to him. He's a guy who seeks to control others and a guy who seeks to grift off of others. When America's in trouble, we can all jump in and try to help. Help your neighbor. And that's basically what's happened. But what, the thing that bothers me the most is there's a lot of people who get caught in these crises who are basically alone. You know, widowers, wid 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 widowers, uh, people in hospitals, uh, okay. people who are by themselves. Yep. And they don't know, and they lose contact. And they get, and they just get scared to death. Mm -hmm. Scared to death. Fair enough. And anyway, so I think it's, uh, I think those who have been spreading these lies to try to undermine the opposition are going to pay a price for it. Is he being Donald Trump singularly to blame for all of this? No, he's not singularly. He's just the biggest mouth. So those who've been spreading lies are going to pay a price for this. Which lies? See, there are, in the wake of these hurricanes, there are people still trapped. And they say, I feel alone. FEMA's not helping us. Is that a lie? Are they going to pay a price? People who are going onto social media and reporting that FEMA, who came to them for help, this guy offered them his place of business, you can stage here. He went on social media and said, they came and said, hey, you're shut down. We're taking your business away from you. We're foreclosing on this property. It's now ours. Is he lying? Towards what end? Are the retired special forces operatives who are flying helicopters into that area, who are taking video of their missions, who are arriving to help people with food and generators, and they're doing this outside of FEMA guidance or permission, are they going to pay a price? The very fact that it is even a concern at this point, even worth his time to have on his note cards, this is one of his major concerns. We don't pay prices in America for criticizing government. We don't pay prices in America for lying about government. Maybe we should. You shall not lie. That's an eternal issue, not yours to deal with. So evil needs a guy like Joe Biden who can be plugged into, told to say whatever he needs to say, who will accept whatever is told in front of him, whatever's put up on the teleprompter. Evil needs that, and evil needs people who look at that and go, well, he is president. Plus, he said it's misinformation. Evil needs stupid people like Gretchen Whitmer. Now, I don't know Gretchen Whitmer's IQ. She's scheming. Uh, she's the dictator of Michigan. She's a scheming woman. She has great political instincts. But you have to be very, very stupid and embodied by great evil to decide that you want to mock the Holy Communion. This is Gretchen Whitmer mocking it with a Dorito. There's a woman kneeling in front of her. She opens her mouth. She takes the, uh, the element 
after the way it used to be taken in the Catholic Church, and to my knowledge, sometimes still is, with people on their knees as the priest places the element on their tongue. She posted that of her own volition. No one made her do it. And people rightly called out, you are mocking Holy Communion. After many, many days, Gretchen Whitmer finally put something up on social media, or far more likely, someone who works for her does. Probably a 25, 25-year-old staff person put this up. Over 25 years in public service, I would never do something to denigrate someone's faith. I've used my platform to stand up for people's right to hold and participate, um, their, relig their personal religious beliefs. My team has spoken to the Michigan Catholic Conference. What was supposed to be a video about the importance of the CHIPS Act to Michigan jobs has been construed as something it was never intended to be, and I apologize for that. That kneeling woman was promoting the CHIPS Act? You have to be unbelievably stupid to believe that wouldn't be seen as what it was, which was a mocking of the Holy Communion. And she could look at this and turn and go, guys, it was a joke. Relax. You take everything so seriously, you're a snowflake. And I could say to you, Gretchen, you don't need to worry about me being offended. You can't offend me. You can fascinate me. But I can also look at this and say, you should be worried about the one you actually offended. But evil needs people like you. It needs people who are stupid enough to believe you can get away with this, that God doesn't see. It needs you, man. It needs people like Mara Gray. Mara Gray was on MSNBC, and I'll give you an interesting detail about Mara Gray. Just a second. Here she is talking about how Trump is recruiting men to fascism. This is actually for all men. You know, I think men are in crisis, actually, in this country. Uh, I think that plays out different ways. And not all men uh, are in crisis, of course. And not all men are just at home listening to Joe Rogan, being mm -hmm. angry or being recruited to fascism. Some just need therapy, like we all do. I go to therapy, that's great. But I think we need to have a real conversation about that rather than allowing this kind of drift toward this faux masculinity that we see Donald Trump evincing. So, so the drift towards fascism. Mara Gray is, she sounds pretty smart. Drift towards fascism and, and, and men are struggling. And wow, that sounds pretty smart. Well, first of all, Mara Gray is the same person who went on the uh, former Brian Williams show before he got caught being an uh, absolutely serial liar. And she thought that Mike Bloomberg spending $500 million on a campaign meant he could give every American $1 million. No, it's 330 million Americans times a million. That's not 500 million. That's a lot more. So they need people like this. The drift towards fascism. Evil needs people who look at their desires. I want to be able to end the life of a baby whenever I want. I need that. I need government to farm out my skepticism. I need Kamala Harris to do my thinking for me. I need government to do my caring for me. I need them to do my charity for me. I need them to protect me from the bad thoughts. I need Nancy Pelosi to do that. I need. Um, when she says this, though, she is now speaking on behalf of a woman who seized power in a palace coup, who's never achieved even a percentage. What did she get? 2%, 1% in the Iowa caucuses of the Democrats? She's farming that out to a woman who seized power in a palace coup after pretending a guy was mentally stout for the past four years who held no election. She's farming that out on a media network that lied in every possible capacity about President Trump. And she's fighting fascism. See, evil needs people like her. People who think that 1 million times 330 million equals 500 million. They deeply need it. Evil does.
So let's remember this. God gave us a Bible that is not just an instruction book on how to interact with him. That is the horizontal relationship. He gave us a book on how to interact with one another. He also gave us that glob of fat inside of our skulls, the most complex computation device ever created, the human brain. So let's fill it with the right things. The word of God, careful observation, good learning, but let's never farm out our skepticism to the panel truck of government.